definition of insanity is. Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing. Sign this petition or I'll follow you home and kill your dog. Over and over again. You better tell me right now what you know about this dog or I'll follow you home and kill your dog. Expected shit to change. Who's a bitch now, Gary? Ha 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 ha! Shit! doing anything! Nothing personal, man. Nothing, Nothing personal, man. No, it's like a dog. What the? Crap, today was a complete bust. Even if I find Champ, what am I supposed to do about his supposed radioactive condition? You know, I completely forgot about Champ. It is kind of weird to not oh, have- tall one! Look guys, I've had a day, okay? Can you just leave me alone? The time is now ours, the blessed pine size, to rise from the depths and overthrow those who tower above us. And you shall be the first of many sacrifices in our holy war against the tall. I guess everybody's getting in on the jihads these days. I'm just passing through these parts to find and cure my highly irradiated dog from his mutant form. You speak of the legendary El Perro Loco? He wishes to cure the beast of his colossal form. To take what is big and make it small. He must be one of us. Come with us. At dawn tomorrow, you shall meet with our leader who is sure to lend his aid in your quest. Oh, it's Gary. Hi, Gary. Don't you know who I am? We are Big Mick Willis. We are leader of the Cold Man, a group of extraordinary individuals imbued with unique and exotic stature. Oh, Christ. What is this now? What do you want? We call you today to aid you in quest to find El Perro Loco. I've killed Gary so many times now that he should have the same kind of grudge against me that Al-Qaeda does. Snitches get stitches, bitch. Okay, simple enough. Three objectives. Grab the cure. Get some mechanical stilts. We require new technology to even stature on battlefield against the tall ones. Yeah, somebody's never played his odd job. What else we got? We will strike great blow against the tall ones by subverting their entertainment. Crush their karaoke entertainment here. Sabotage karaoke? That sounds fun. I'm gonna dick around in the open world for a while because it's Thursday, and that should unlock some more powerful weaponry, I think. I hope. I have the worst feeling about today, kids. I don't know what it is, but something evil lurks in this town. And that stuff always falls on my shoulders. Always. Al-Qaeda, butchers, the Postal Service, zombies. It's always my problem. Everybody gets upset when I nuke the place to deal with this stuff. Okay, sure, let's look at what's behind Lucky Ganesh. Ow. So that's what that feels like. Oh, okay, a snowman centipede. Gotta turn that yellow. Now the flowers will grow. My dealer's house is a lot nicer now. He's moved up in the world. Hey, mister. Got any spare pussy... cats? Hey. Hey, asshole. What about cash for drugs? Now I can't feel my legs. Okay, so I buy some drugs from the vending machine. The weapon vendor has revolver ammo in it now, so that's nice. So I get to demonstrate how this works, partners. Hold alt fire when this meter is full enough to perform auto-aim executions. Who's got the guts to play for blood? Damn, here I was minding my business just enjoying my second amendment rights, and you people have to freak out on me. I never showed you guys this in other pro postal videos, which is a serious oversight on my part, but thankfully this works with lawmen as well as cops, where you can lead them around with donuts. Hmm. Hmm. Good. And then if you piss on the donut. Someone could lose a limb. <laughs> yeah. Since I'm here, I might as well hit the robotics factory. This company refurbed the old napalm factory, and I guess they made the Vendicure that treated my gonorrhea. But it just gives me a crack pipe this time. I'm not complaining, that's great. So far, no problem. Haven't even had to kill anyone, I just grabbed the stilts. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen. And done. I am the Vendicure Model XJ2. Please step forward and you're an aid. Take care. 
Where were you planning on going to lunch? Thanks for the urine. Good God, that is disgusting. Let's tear this meat bag a new piss hole. Executing pissed off robot mode sequence. I'll flush you up, mother Great Scott, the robots are rebelling. All right, let's ammo up and take care of business. I'm not letting Skynet take over on my watch. If anybody's going to turn this town into an apocalyptic nuclear wasteland, again, it's going to be me. Now that I think about it, these robots are specifically designed to deal with human urine. I mean, you know, it couldn't hurt. Have you been eating asparagus? Urine collection sequence complete. Yuck, I hope, Yuck, I, don't I, hope I don't rust. Tell my wife I... Did you just uh, pee in my mouth? Tell my wife I... Nah. Are you just eating asparagus? So not only does pissing on them disable the robots, they drop prizes. We get to rock out with our cock out. <laughs> no one's impressed. I disable every single robot by pissing on it. Sure, I lose a ton of health and smoke a bunch of crack, but if a thing's worth doing, it's worth doing right. There's even a vending machine in the middle of this map to stock up on water. 16 should do it. Does this count as playing pacifist? You piss in your wife's mouth that way? You just pee in my mouth? I think that was the last of them. I'll unlock the door now. What an adventure, huh, kids? Oh, that's funny. Why is the junkyard still open? Usually those places get closed off after I offend the faction there. Did I say offend? I meant completely wipe out. So what's, uh... Oh. Feels right to get that bitch's sword. She got the house. I like sword. That's a personal weapon. Just call me Ginsu. Wow. I don't know why this sword is so fun. It's not even as quick as the machete. It has a slightly longer range, I guess. Oh well, good times were had by all. Let's see what an actual drug dealer is up to. Not some pussy statue squatting in a well-respected crack dealer's house. Yo! Hmm. I'm sorry, but you need more money. Yeah! Pick him up! Showing. Lucky these things are stainless. Part of being a pro postal player is going to areas you've been to on previous days and expecting a different result. I mean, finding different stuff. You know, there's nothing helpful in the now zombie controlled church, but it looks like there's a fresh grave in the cemetery. That's odd. I guess I'll pee on it again. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What? Ned. No, fuck this. I'm done. I'm going on to the next Aaron. That is fucked. Hi there. I'm in the market for some noxious, unregulated chemicals. Please take a number and wait until it's your turn to be served. We're supposed to wait in line to get into this chemical factory, and I don't give a shit if there's an achievement for waiting. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna walk in. This lady doesn't do anything about it. Yeah, fuck you. You better not be here when I get back. Oh, look. Rednecks. Watch it, Jimmy Joe, Bob. You can't go around damaging the inventory like that. Those city folk could grow wise to the fact that we ain't producing real chemicals. Oh, lighten up, Lester. It's not like those dumb yuppie boys can tell the difference between our brew and their fancy pants chemicals. Hey, who's that guy? Huh? 
It's like a reverse of the Wednesday mission in Postal 2 where you wear the gimp suit. Not this time, you inbred cousin fuckers. You think it's so easy you're just gonna whack me in the head with a shovel and shanghai my inventory. Fuck off with that shit. <laughs> Got him. Oh! Yeah, nice hit. Quick, grab whatever he has. Ah, damn. What the hell just happened? Looks like some helpful townsfolk decided to lighten your load for you. Without the pesky hassle of asking you first, of course. Square fucking one. I have to get across town with nothing. With game devs and gingers after me. Great. Perfect. I can't find crack fast enough and my addiction breaks. Ah, withdrawal is a bitch. That's it, fuckers. You call down the thunder. They're holed up in the old post office. I'm at a serious disadvantage. I've only got the supplies I was able to scrape up on the way there. Those raiders took everything. Even that nice sword I just got. They fuck with the wrong dude. I've been massacring factions in this town since before they were a gleam in the developer's eye. You think I won't kill a whole place full of raiders over a sword? I mean, it would only be the second time in a month I've done that. You know, I was just having so much fun going after this sword, murdering all those raiders, pissing on robots, I forgot about karaoke at Fire in the Hole. Darling, sweetie, sweetie darling, how are you, pumpkin? Oh, fuck. I forgot. I forgot about... No, please, don't do the song again. Oh, hey, Sebby. My ears were burning. Yeah, my fucking bone marrow is burning. What do you want, Cancer Mouse? Well, I just wanted to talk about the special guest in this postal expansion. It's Milo Yiannopoulos. And when I run out of bread, I laugh all the way to the bank. Well, excuse you. Yo, know what I say? Old ways are the best ways. That's why we do these things again and again. And again. And again. And again. Oops, I nuked you again. I pressed the button. Wiped out society. Guess I'm done here. Better check with Gary and see if the little guy will stay true to his word. All right, Gary. Prepare to meet Kali in hell. Oh, okay. Hand over chemicals. This delicate procedure. Please provide silence as we must concentrate. The cure is complete. Use syringe on El Perro Loco to return him to small size. Great journey lies ahead for you. Us Coleman will now prepare for war against the Tall Ones. You guys, I've already killed so many people today. It's not a good idea. It's just not. Who control Coleman? still warm. Hey, you went to all that trouble to get that cure. It'd be a waste if you left without checking to make sure the damn thing's even effective. I wonder Again, what or who, who controls control coal mine. Hmm, you got a point. I can't leave until I'm certain this cure works. Uh, I'd stick your syringe into that big guy. Coal mine. Just the tip. Big if you're squeamish. Big McWillis controls coal mine. Big
I think this might be the last time we ever see Gary, kids. I have a feeling he's gone for good this time. Too bad Big McWillis is still hanging around, just a little smaller. I'm gonna call him Little Mac. He takes a ton of hits for someone so small. There's another day down the crapper. At least I've got a cure to treat Champ's radioactive condition. But I still haven't found him yet. I don't suppose I'll be able to manage that on my own. So I wonder what crazy homicidal faction I'll run into next. Oh, we're just, uh, we're just saying this now. All right, let's get this over with. Please, put down your weapon. I mean you no harm. You appear to be mistaken, as Al-Qaeda is a peace-loving group, loving of all races and creeds. We only wish to support our fellow men in their times of need. <laughs> that sounds beautiful, Osama. A new path. A nice, peaceful place where we all belong. Where everyone is cared for. Where we heal the sick. Where we feed the starving. Where we help each other. Paradise. But that's commie shit, so I'm gonna burn this mother down. Again. <laughs>